Hey guys, welcome back for a new video. Today, I know this year in particular is the worst year that you could have ever experienced your whole life. Me as well. A lot of people, most of us and everything. It's crazy what's going on, okay? I understand. There's a lot of drama, racism, sickness going around, you name it. There's a lot going on. In particular, this time right here, as a student, you're supposed to be on break, having fun and all. But some is here, but some is not here. If you understand what I mean, is that it's limited what we can do. It's crazy, like, such as going to the parks. We can't gather together. Must respect the all the, like, you know, two meter rules, like distancing. And, um, you know, going to Six Flags, such as here, La Ronde, or like, you know, just last but not least, like water parks and all. But the thing is, these are all fun to do, but the thing is we must know that these acti activities are really dangerous at one point and one of them are the water slides that we must, that we go view right now. See, um, you know, most top 10 or top like 5 like water slides, you know, that is really dangerous and people have died from it and have a lot of injuries. So you just be mindful whenever you go to certain stuff like this, be careful, you know, be careful. But anyway. Alright, so there is um, top 10 most dangerous water slides. I don't know if I sh we should watch this. Or there's most dangerous water slides ever created. There's one here, highest, fastest, craziest water slides in the world. Um, top 10 most insane. Um, let's go to the, let's go to the two years ago. Should we go two years ago? Okay, you know what, let's go to top 10. Top 10, that was a year, year ago. Welcome back to List Jumbo. You might not think of danger when you think of water slides. In fact, you might assume that water slides are safe. But the water slides on this list will have you rethinking your assumptions. Here are the top 10 most dangerous water slides. Number 10. Insano, Brazil Beach Park, Brazil. Damn. The Insano slide is insanely steep and is located at the beach of Porto das Dunas in Aquiraz in Brazil. The 41 meter high slide sends its sliders down a near vertical drop and into an exit pool below. The slide opened in 1989, and when it did, it was the tallest water slide in the world. The slide is not for the faint of heart though. In fact, employees at the water park say that they enjoy watching the sliders panic at the top of the slide, and that they have even seen sliders cry while sliding. The ride is only 5 seconds long, but because it is so steep, some sliders lose contact with the slide and actually become airborne during the drop. Because the slide is so dangerous, sliders are instru instructed on how to ride the slide. They must remain on their backs with their arms and legs crossed. The slide, which gives a great view of the Atlantic Ocean at the top, is no longer the tallest slide in the, in the world. But it remains the well, fastest, slide as sliders can reach man. speeds of heart pounding 65 miles per hour. Number 9. The, the Aqua Loop, Loop at Wet and Wild, Wild Gold, Gold Coast, Coast Aqua. That water slide is dangerous. Like, we're, we're having fun and all, but damn, this can kill people, like, instantly. That is crazy. Australia. Australia. The Aqua Loop is a near vertical water slide that, that sends the sliders down, down a 10 meter drop, drop and into an inclined pool. During the 7 second slide, riders can reach a speed of 60 km per hour and can experience a G force of 2.5. The slide, which was designed by Whitewater West Aquarina, relies on sliders achieving enough speed to make it around the loop. The thing is, certain slices, um, slides, like, you can't even see. It's really dark. So what if you're like, you know, stuck or something? You can't literally see nothing. However, not all sliders do. A woman sued the park for $400,000 when she got stuck on the slide. She was unable to make the loop and found herself stuck at the bottom of the loop. She pulled herself out through an escape hatch, but she experienced several injuries. Nonetheless, the Aqua Loop continues to be a popular, albeit dangerous, slide at Wet n Wild. In fact, the park itself is the busiest water park in Australia and the eighth busiest water park in the world. Thousands of sliders ride the dangerous Aqua Loop annually. Number 8. The Black Hole 
Wet n Wild, Orlando, Florida. The Black Hole Water Slide is an inline tube slide located at what is considered to be America's first water park. Wet n Wild Orlando is owned by NBC Universal and was founded by the creator of SeaWorld, George Millay. The menacing black tubes of the black hole look ominous, and rightfully so. The black hole has faced numerous lawsuits over the years, including a $1.73 million payout to a man who was severely injured in 1994 when he struck something during the ride. Part of the danger of the slide stems from like the top you can't see the even ride. literally nothing. It takes a two-person tube 23 seconds to complete the ride. However, the staff has locked the people down at 20-second intervals. This does not leave enough time for people to safely exit the ride before the next riders are sent down. What the hell? It a dangerous riding experience. Number seven is a dangerous tube slide that has repeatedly injured its riders. In fact, in 2015, Calypso Water Park was facing 20 separate charges from injured people. Riders of the steamer slide sit on a tube, slide through a dark tunnel, and then spin around a bowl. However, when the slide was investigated, it was discovered that the steamer slide had developed a buckle in an area of the slide that was causing the tubes to flip over. The Technical Standards and Safety Act, which oversees Ontario's amusement park rides, accused the park of negligence. Ben and Jerry's Netflix and Chill. The first Netflix or that one looks a little bit boring, I'm not gonna lie. So that's why I like went for the original flavor from Ben and Jerry's. Oh, I heard a lot about this one though in particular. This one is dangerous. Really dangerous, dangerous. And I heard like someone died. And all they could do to fix it is just put in like, you know, some wires. What if someone bounced and like hurt himself with the wires? That's crazy. Instead of just coming. Holy. I would never in my life, I would never go to this one. No. Oh my God. You can literally see the whole city, the whole place. It's crazy. What the hell? Do you see this one? What the hell? You can literally see the whole city. You can literally see the whole city with this one. And there's no, nothing covers, oh my god, there's no wire, it's not like a serp, it's not, oh my god. What if someone just bounce on it, and, oh my god, please, please, please. I would never go on this one. I wouldn't. Listen, I think I think sometimes GoPros that does this like, you know, like view like kind of thing that you think is really high, but damn. This is worse than the other one. I'm 
gonna stop it here for real. Um, yeah, it's literally like this is just like like a mindful message like to you guys that you should you know be careful like when you're going to the water slides or something because it's a lot going around i mean going on like you can literally you know be hurt get injuries so just be mindful that when you're going to that specific like water slide just think about it like think how it's built and just know if it's safe you know as you you know not because you see a lot of people go on it you know you can you, just your mind to be different is way better than the others okay and it's gonna make a lot of changes. But anyway, if you liked today's video, please drop a like, comment, share, and subscribe if you need. And I'll be back with another one. I'm out. My voice is gone right now. I'm gonna have some panto right here, but I feel like I'll need some water. But alright, I'm out. I love you, and I'll see you on the next video. Mwah.